help. It's the consequences of my own actions. Vice chair of Minnesota Democrat Party who advocated for dismantling police gets violently beaten and carjacked. A far-left Minneapolis activist was the victim of a brutal armed carjacking that occurred in the driveway of her home on Tuesday evening. Shivanthi Sathanandan, a radical leftist and second vice chairwoman of the Democratic Farmer Labor Party in Minneapolis, she was left bruised and bloody during the incident, is calling for accountability, despite her past history of being a notable defund the police agitator. South Anandan said in a Facebook post that she suffered a broken leg, deep lacerations to her head and cuts and bruises all over her body when four armed juveniles allegedly beat her to the ground in front of her children and then stole her vehicle in broad daylight. Look at my face, remember me. When you are thinking about supporting letting juveniles and young people out of custody to roam the streets instead of holding them accountable for their actions, you could have been reading the obituary for me and my children today, South Anandan wrote. But instead, I'm here to write this. Look at my face. These criminals will not win. We need to take back our city. And this will not be the last you hear from me about this. Thank you to the incredible Minneapolis 4th Precinct, Mayor So-and-So, paramedics, neighbours, friends and the DFL family who all came to our aid during this terrifying experience. I'm so grateful for this community that wraps us in love. South Anandan's comments on her alleged brutal attack imply that she may have reversed course surrounding her previous advocacy to dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. In June 2020, South Anandan wrote in a Facebook post, We are going to dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. Say it with me. Dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. And then a whole bunch of other ridiculous leftist cult talking points there. Uh, after South Anandan shared the incident on her Facebook account, individuals flock to the comments and ask if she regrets being at the forefront of dismantling the police department, which has left Minneapolis residents in increased danger. Uh, just a whole bunch of people saying, what did you expect? According to the Minneapolis Police Department, Sathanandan's vehicle was recovered after being found abandoned. No suspects involved in her attack have been identified or taken into custody. Custody. Just quickly, what do you notice about this photo? I didn't pick up on it at first, but somebody else pointed it out on X, but the whole blood looks a little bit, looks a bit fake, doesn't it? I'm not saying it is. But I can see what they're saying. Looks a bit fake. Could we have another Jesse Smollett on our hands? Now look, no one deserves to get themselves beaten like that or carjacked. Especially when you look like a sleep demon. (laughs) But what the hell did she expect? when she's going around telling everyone that she actively wants to decrease the amount of police within her city, state, whatever you want to call it, as if criminals aren't going to see that as a total green flag to go ahead and do whatever the hell they want. See, it's funny that these people advocate for this sort of stuff for everyone else, but when it happens to them... Oh, no, 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 we we need accountability right now. Yeah, we need it. Now, that's not the only example we've had in the past week. No, 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 no. We had another one, this one out of New York City with Mayor Eric Adams. What's Eric got to say? You you pledged uh, during your campaign to uh, keep New York City a sanctuary a city. Are, do you have any concern that that... that policy uh, is, 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 for, is attracting more people to the border, more people to cross the border to make that dangerous no. trip? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, the city has always been a sanctuary city, and we've always managed those who wanted to come to uh, New York City to pursue the American dream. Let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an end to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue 
will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. One time we were just in Venezuela. Now we're in Ecuador. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming through Mexico. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. Jeez, I wonder what would have given them that idea. Could it be, Mr. Adams, number one, that you're saying that New York is a sanctuary city and then you're higher up being President Joe Biden and his idiot predictive text vice president saying the borders are open. Could that be why they got that idea? And everyone is saying it's New York City's problem. It is. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. We have a $12 billion deficit that we're going to have to cut. Every service in this city is going to be impacted. That's a shame. All of us. And so I say to you, as I turn it over to you, this is some, some of the most educated, some of the most knowledgeable, probably more of my commissioners and deputy commissioners and chiefs live in this community. So as you ask me a question about migrants, tell me what role you played. How many of you organized to... Voting you in because you said you were going to be a sanctuary city. And more than likely, because New York is deep blue, the city especially, uh, you voted for Joe Biden. Stop what they're doing to us. How many of you were part of the movement to say, we're seeing what this mayor is trying to do and they're destroying New York City? It's going to come to your neighborhoods. All of us are going to be impacted by this. <laughs> I said it last year when we had 15,000. I'm telling you now, with 110,000, the city we knew, we're about to lose. And we're all in this together, all of us. Staten Island is saying, send them out to Manhattan. Manhattan is saying, send them out to Queens. Queens is saying, send them out to Brooklyn. No. It's not the game we can play. Jeez, if only there weren't, say, certain orange tinned, tinged president that tried to warn you about this, that offered a solution to fix the problem. And what was your response to all that? Well, that's racist. Border walls are racist. Uh, the geniuses at The View... Uh, they're also coming to terms with this, but you know what? They've they got a they've got a good idea of what we could do with all these all these migrants that are getting uh, shipped into New York. But frankly, you know, I think we need to find and and we've dealt with this before. I I lived in uh, in Miami. I was a migrant, an immigrant in Miami in the eighties. You all remember when we had the Mariel boat lift? Yes. One hundred and twenty-five thousand Cubans yeah. came in a matter of six months. It puts tremendous stress on 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 a city, on a community, on the social services. They need to be resettled elsewhere. Th they need, right? to, they need to be out. With this spread, massive yeah. country. <laughs> In other words, not in my backyard. No, no, no. See, when they voted for open borders and not completing the wall, so hundreds of thousands, if not millions of illegal immigrants can just flow across the border or coming from all those places where Mayor Adams said, when they advocated for that, they said, no, 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 you're not supposed to do it near us. No, 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 that's, that's Texas's problem. That's Arizona or whatever the other states are that border Mexico. That's their problem, not ours. You guys need to take care of it. We're the good people, remember? We're the good people who care. We're the sanctuary city. We'll take, you know, a couple of here or there, but we don't want the full influx. No, you guys down there, you deal with it. Oh, but there's this, there's this last piece from uh, the queen genius herself at the end. Well, and it's only going to get worse with global warming and climate change because people can't live in certain parts of this world. <laughs> Didn't you get 
the updated script from your producer's joy, it's global boiling. Now, this isn't the first time that these people will do this, nor will it be the last time. Because remember when, uh, who was it? Was it Ron DeSantis sent all those uh, migrants over to Martha's Vineyard or something? Oh, boy, did they solve that problem really quickly. Yeah, what was it? Not even 48 hours that they were there. This is a thing about leftists when it comes to this sort of stuff. They want to advocate for it until they have to deal with it. Yet people will sit there and they'll go, that's a good idea, and they'll vote it in. And then what happens? Well, you sit there and you say that you want to defund the police and then lawlessness gets law lawlessness gets out of control and then you're beaten allegedly for your car stop believing these absolute charlatans they don't give two craps about the country or the people that they're advocating for to flood in no 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 they just want to here's what they want out of those people they want them to go to a place like california because then with the increase in population, California saying that it's a sanctuary city as well, all they need to do is get the numbers up on the, uh, on the census and then they get more, um, more electoral votes. The rest of them, they, they can't deal with it. It's Florida's problem, it's Texas's problem, it's all those southern states' problems. These people are liars, these people are evil, and they want you to deal with the problems that they created. A big portion of this problem could have been dealt with and it only would have cost a couple of billion dollars for that border wall. Oh, but no, everyone had to mock the border wall and we needed all that billions of dollars, 20 times worth probably, for Ukraine. So Joe Biden can line his pockets. All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the channel and this episode. Make sure you follow me on X and all those other platforms listed there. Audio-only versions available too on Spotify and Apple. So leave a like, leave a comment, and leave a five-star review. I've just updated some stuff here with my equipment. So if things aren't working great, I apologize. I'm still working it out as I go. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. (laughs) 